Are you ready for an adventure in paradise? Look no further than Bali, a tropical oasis that offers something for everyone, from families and retirees to digital nomads and young hedonists. While some parts of Bali can be crowded with tourists, there are plenty of hidden gems waiting to be discovered. Hello, and welcome to Travel Testimony. In this video, we'll take you on a journey through Bali's top 10 must-do experiences. Whether you're seeking thrills or seeking spiritual sanctuary, Bali has it all. We've curated a list that includes everything from the popular hotspots to the unexpected surprises giving you the perfect mix of adventure and relaxation. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all our latest travel videos. Let's go. Number 10. Visit a Sea Temple. If you're looking to explore Bali's rich spiritual heritage, a visit to one of the island's stunning sea temples is a must. While Bisaki is the mother temple for Balinese Hindus, Uluwatu Temple is arguably the most famous and awe-inspiring religious destination for visitors. Perched atop a cliff top overlooking the crashing waves and dramatic reefs of one of the world's most challenging surfing amphitheaters, Uluwatu Temple is a truly breathtaking sight. There are several other sea temples worth exploring too, including Tanalat Temple, which is equally spectacular and draws visitors hoping to catch a glimpse of its stunning sunset views. Number 9. Relax at a Beach Club If you're looking for a place to relax and unwind in Bali, you can't go wrong with Seminyak's Potato Head Beach Club. Not only is it a stunning beachfront destination, but it also earned the gratitude of countless islanders during the pandemic for its innovative sweet potato food distribution and local support schemes. Potato Head is more than just a beach club. It's a community hub that attracts visitors from all over the island. The Potato Head Village is an experience in itself with several great bars and restaurants, including Tanaman, a plant-based restaurant led by visionary super chef Dom Hem. There are also music venues, yoga spaces, a library, and Bali's best co-working space, all laid out around two wonderfully decadent infinity pools. Whether you're looking to soak up the sun on the beach, enjoy a delicious meal, or simply relax with a cocktail, Potato Head has something for everyone. Number eight, walk with pink buffalo. Buffalo has been an integral part of Indonesian culture for centuries, and in West Bali, you can even find pink buffalo. Sadly, these unique creatures are rapidly approaching extinction as they are replaced by machinery for paddy work. While a few pink buffalo are still used in traditional sacrifices or the West Balini sport of Meke Pung Buffalo chariot racing, paddy farmer Nenga Sudana has found a more ecological use for his animals through his pink buffalo walks. Sudana's tours offer a unique and immersive experience, allowing visitors to walk alongside the pink buffalo and learn about the traditions and irrigation systems that are part of Bali's millennia-old rice farming culture. Number seven, dive or snorkel Balinese reefs. Bali's southern coast may be a surfer's paradise, but the sheltered north coast is a hidden gem for divers and snorkelers. Menjangan Island, located offshore from the West Bali National Park, offers world-class snorkeling and diving experiences with sightings of sharks, rays, turtles, and even whale sharks, if you're lucky. However, it's important to note that during the rainy season, currents may bring in garbage and affect visibility. Lovina and Pemuterin also have excellent reefs that are easily accessible from the beach, but the town of Ahmed is the dive center par excellence in Bali. Ahmed boasts several unforgettable wreck dives that will leave you in awe. Bali High, the island's biggest dive operator, offers day trips to offshore reefs around Nusa Lembongan Island. One of the highlights of these trips is a spot aptly named Manta Alley, where you can swim alongside majestic manta rays. Number six, hit the trails around Sidemen Village. Western the road from Ubud to Sidemen is one of the most scenic drives in Bali, taking you on a roller coaster ride through steep ravines, shimmering paddies, and charming flower decked villages. As you arrive in Sidemen, you'll find yourself transported to a rural hideaway that evokes the Balai of yesteryear before the influx of Western tourists. It's interesting to note that in the 1930s, Walter Spies, a rebel artist and socialite who lived in Ubud, built a villa in Sidemen as a hideaway from the crowd. 
the area is still relatively untouched, allowing you to immerse yourself in Bali's stunning countryside. The rural landscape is dotted with traditional villages where locals live a simple and traditional way of life, away from the hustle and bustle of the tourist hotspots. Number five, swim under a waterfall. Bali's volcanic peaks and tropical rainfall create a plethora of stunning waterfalls, each as beautiful as the next. While some of the more famous waterfalls have become overrun with garbage, there are still some hidden gems that retain their picture-perfect beauty. Kaganangan Waterfall is one of the most popular waterfalls on the island with a 15-meter drop and easy accessibility from Ubud. But if you're looking for a more spectacular waterfall experience, head to Nung Nung Waterfall, accessible via a return trip of 1,000 steps into an unspoiled gourd. This hidden gem is remote enough to retain its natural beauty and is well worth the trek. For an even more secluded experience, head to the north side of the island and discover Sikampo Waterfall. Number four, catch the sunrise on Mount Batur. Bali has a reputation for its stunning tropical sunrises, earning it the nickname, the morning of the world. For the best sunrise experience on the island, head to the 1717 meter summit of Batur Volcano. Every morning, hundreds of trekkers set out at around 3 a.m. to witness the sun's first rays breaking over the horizon. It's a truly spiritual experience and an opportunity to capture the perfect selfie. While Mount Batur is not exactly a secret spot, it's well worth the trek to experience the breathtaking views of Bali's highest peak, Mount Agung, and the towering Mount Renjani on neighboring Lombok. It's a tick list, must do experience for any traveler visiting Bali. However, if you're looking for a more solitary and spiritual experience, consider climbing Batu Karu, the island's second highest peak. At 2276 meters, it offers a more remote and peaceful trek away from the crowds of Mount Batur. And the climb may be more challenging, but the reward is an unforgettable sunrise experience that you'll cherish for a lifetime. Number three, take a safari in the Wild West. If you're looking for an adventure off the beaten path, head to Bali's far northwestern tip for a jungle experience like no other. While Bali may not be known for its big five game, the West Bali National Park is home to a diverse range of wildlife that will leave you awestruck. As you explore the park, keep your eyes peeled for majestic sambar deer galloping through the shallow waters and squirrels as big as cats jumping through the canopy. You might even catch a glimpse of the Bali starling, one of the world's rarest birds and the rare endemic ebony leaf monkeys. Number two, practice yoga. If you're looking to connect with your inner self and find inner peace, yoga is a great place to start. Ubud has emerged as one of the top destinations in the world for yoga, attracting yogis from all corners of the globe. However, Kangyu has been giving Ubud a run for its money by offering a more modern and trendy take on yoga. In Ubud, you can find yoga classes to suit any budget, from a cheap drop in sessions to complimentary classes at high-end luxury hotels that can cost a thousand dollars per night. Number one, catch a wave. If you're dreaming of catching a wave in Bali, you're not alone. Surfing has always been a popular activity on this island paradise. While there are many world-class surf spots for seasoned surfers, Kuta Beach is one of the best places to learn how to surf. You can find plenty of board rental stands and experienced surf instructors ready to help you catch your first wave. If you're looking for more challenging waves, the Bukit Peninsula offers the legendary Dreamland Surf Break, which can test even the most skilled surfers. With their help, you'll be riding the waves like a pro in no time. We hope you enjoyed this journey through Bali's top 10 must-do experiences. From catching a wave to visiting a sea temple, Bali truly has something for everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel Travel Testimony for more travel inspiration from around the world.